Oh, g'day guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie Fummy in the Philippines. G'day you bastards! Well, the rain just started at about 4.30, very light. So it's not really, not really doing anything. There's no wind, it's quiet. But um, I was watching on the weather, there's, there's a weather link I put down below. It's one I found last night. And um, I think about every 10 hours or something like that, 12 hours, they do a, a live update. And they go through all the satellites around the world and they got control of them all. And uh, they click on them and go through the infrared and they say, right, the wave heights. The wave heights yesterday were bloody seven to nine metres. Seven metres in the centre, because it wasn't, it was pretty calm, up to nine metres on the outside. That's 30 fucking feet. You know, you look at nine metres, chick goes, that's big. And I said, hun, that, that pole we brought for the light, that's six metres, so go half that again. It's a bloody big boat. Hey, I'd, I'd hate to be out there in a bloody dinghy, I tell you. Would not like that. But um, it's a very, very good link because they talk to other meteorologists all around the world and they get all their opinions. So I'll put a link down below. Oh, big birthday shout out. No budget, Charlie. Happy birthday, you bastard. From me on the Aussie farm in the Philippines. Happy birthday, no budget, Charlie. And that was sent in from... Oh, shit. Bloody fill up the food too much. That was sent in from a anonymous. I said, who's here anonymous? I said, oh, anonymous. Hello, babies. So happy birthday, no budget, Charlie. Well, babies are undercover, so they're happy. Mama, food coming. Hey, guys. Morning. 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 This one gets jealous because these two are always laying down on the gate gate area. Hey. Oh, scratch that, bitch. Scratch that. Oh. <laughs> oh, where's my food? Where's my food? Well, the rain is going. Like I said, it's very light. And uh, it's, it hasn't really been much. I'd, when I come out this morning, the sun rose about quarter past five. There was still a dry underneath the palm fronds. So really, it's only just starting to pick up now. But um, like they say, they reckon that um, they reckon that the uh, the storm is going to go right through um, Cebu and Bohol. So if the um, Triple F hasn't got his shit together, then uh, he certainly. Move around, stupid. Stupid. Look at this dickhead here. God, they're idiots. So if the uh, Triple F hasn't got his shit together, I'll tell you, it's going to be in a, a bit of strife. A bit of strife, I can tell you. Oh, got to keep this on because the bastards keep getting out. Don't know why. Look at this, hey, dickheads. Look at these dickheads. Hey, turn your ass around. You, turn your ass around. You, turn your ass around. There's plenty of food. Plenty of food. Chill out. That's better. Hey, be civilised for fuck's sake. God. What do I say? Be civilised. Use a, we've, we've humans. So the only thing that separates us from animals is that we use knife and forks. And when I see those people who don't use knife and forks, it goes to show how much of the food chain fucking they're falling now behind on. But that's only my view on the topic, isn't it? Right, let's get Mama's tucker going. Oh. So no budget, Charlie, what are you doing today for your birthday, mate? Let me know. Put some comments down below and say, oh, I'm just going to lay in bed and, you know, think about the first thing that pops up, maybe. <laughs> right, well, I cleaned all this out yesterday. Pretty cleaned it all down when I took Mum out. And I hit the bleach all over it, a bleach solution, of course, to um, make it clean for when I move the pigs around again. So what I do is make it, is clean it down. Oh, open up bits. Oh. So what I do is, is give them a clean out. Whenever I move the pigs around, give it a clean out, and I'll give it a, oh, look at that, mama. Oh. I give, give it a, uh, a disinfectant to make it clean, just so that there's no something from the other pig beforehand. And yes, I know they're all in the, the one family. Yeah, I know that. But the point is, it's only fucking laziness, isn't it? You know? It's only laziness that people don't say, oh, I could have done this, or I could have done that, or I couldn't be bothered. You're all from the same litters. But um, you'd be amazed. All right. Got that, Mama? Hurry up, it's leaning on the floor. All right, so that's her done. Right, well, I tell you what, the turkeys are making heaps of bloody noise this morning. I don't know what's happening on with them. I've got to go up the back and get the durian, so I'll take the wheelbarrow. Take the wheelbarrow up the back. 
and the umbri, umbri, I might put the boots on today. Look at that. I don't want to let the chickens out. I want to try and feed them inside because the turkeys, <coughs> excuse me, the turkeys, they can, they can stand out in the rain all fucking day. You know, they're like ducks, water off a duck's back. The turkeys just walk around, they just eat the grass all day. They just walk through eating, 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 eating. You know, no problem at all. But um, the chickens, when they get, they get wet, they get sick. And that's the trouble. They start to get the snotty nose and all that, so you've got to quarantine them off. As soon as you hear one going, <coughs> then I grab hold of get the net, grab hold of him. This old trusty net over here. I get the net, throw him into quarantine, and whack a uh, moxicillin down his throat. And hopefully after about three or four days of giving him medication, they'll, they'll come okay. But you've got to isolate them straight away. And it's the rain that does it, guys. You know, you can have the healthiest, cleanest fucking chicken house in the world. But uh, if you get a drop of rain through, bloop, that's what happens on it. But uh, at least now with the, with the uh, roof over the, what do you call it, the hotels, oh, that's empty at the moment. So with that, I can still put all the feed trays underneath there. Inside the chicken house, there's one. I put two over here and I put one down, down the side over here. On the, uh, the pig awning, I put one down here for them. And they're okay. The roosters are right. They're pretty tough bastards. You know, they're no problem at all. But oh well, there you go, it's 6.30, so I'll go and get some more done. These are chickens, chickens out here, they live in the uh, the gatehouse. They piss the chick off all the time. You know, I put netting up the stop and going inside, so they can only live on the outside now. So that's not too bad. And uh, that's where they lay their eggs. Some of them eat their eggs all the time. But the egg, eggs are going good, we're getting up the minimum we're getting is between 8 and 12 a day we stud so much but when we used to we used to leave that just for the laying remember so now with all the nests are clear and I pick them up a couple of times a day I'll go in there because it, the chickens are broody still they want to sit down on the eggs so what I did is I grabbed a couple of turkey eggs and I put some turkey eggs in there and I sit on the turkey eggs so they'll hatch out the turkey same as like the um, the other chicken as she hatched out those three young'uns mmm all right, well, there you go. Time to go back inside. I'll tell you, it is absolute, lu well, lucky for us, like, it's only just wet. Like, we can't let the goats out, so we're gonna have to take the truck out today with chicken. We have to go along the roadway and we have to get all their food because she's using a lot of her food that she's grown all along the, um, along the creek. She's using a lot of that up. Well, hi, mother. You out with your baby? All right, I'll get you some tucker. So I can guarantee we'll be out having a wet ass. You just put up with it, yeah, because it's not cold. You know, it's not cold at all. It's, it's warm. You know, it's warmish. It's warmish. Hey Dee. But uh, she's using up still. She's got all the plants. She grew all the way up along here, up around the side and back. But um, we need to go out and get some more today. Bastard. Oh, well, at least we're lucky we're not at Bahal, I tell you. But one good thing, it'll clean the fucking place up, won't it? That's all I say about the floods, you know, like... In, in the Western world, and a lot of you will agree with me here, some of you will say it's bullshit because you're too fucking stupid to understand anything. But in the Western world, before the winter time comes, they get in with the bobcats in all the drains, the local council, and they clean out all the drains. They get rid of all the debris, all the branches and uh, bits of wood and rubbish, and the bobcats run through while it's all dirt and dust. Clean it all out. And when the rains come through, fucking done. No problem. Philippines, well, they don't. They don't do fuck all, you know? And when they do clean the rains out, the drains out, they'll, uh, most of it's done by hand with shovel, and they just tip it on the side of the road. Or if they do get an excavator that comes in, the excavator will pick it up and clear. But it's only when it's flooded and, you know, the water's not fucking going anywhere. Now, you look at the rubbish that's in Manila. Now, you think I'm joking. Go and have a look at um, Mark Nowhere's video. Okay, he does a lot, lot of work for the um, Filipino underprivileged. You know, I tell you, he does a lot of work. And you see, see the slum areas where all these water canals that lead down into um, Manila Bay. That's why Manila Bay took him years and years and years to try and clean it up. And even now, I don't think it's um, allowed to swim in. But you can walk across the fucking canal. The canal will be like from here, here to the house wide. And it will guarantee you'll be two foot of plastic bottles and rubbish. You know, all the squatters just shit in a fucking piece of newspaper and just throw it out on the side. You know? That's what fucking happens. Because he's interviewing the one woman when they take her some food and she's in a little shanty. They said, well, where do you go for the toilet? 
It's just all just shit in a piece of piece of um, newspaper, and I just throw it, or a plastic bag, and I just throw it out into the creek. Serious, fucking dirty, dirty fucking race. Dirty, 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 dirty. But that's life, isn't it? So at least one good thing, the rains will clean the place out. And let's face it, some places are so fucking dirty and disgusting that they need a good wind to clean the place out. A good wind. When I was in Hamilton Island, we, we get the cyclones coming in there. All the, uh, the, the hire boats, they had the fishing hire boats, they're only, um, I think they were about 10 footers. They're only about little, little 10 footers they were. Um, boats, little punts they were with a, uh, I think a seven horsepower motor on the back and they would hire them out so people could just go out and just do a little bit of fishing, you know, just for something to fucking do. You know, take the boys out fishing or something like that, or the girls. Don't get me as a sexist, you bastard. But when that would, when the cyclones would come into us there, they'd actually, um, of course, take all the motors off, but they'd sink all the boats down in the marina. They'd sink them all, all those um, little ten footers. So um, they, they can't move, they can't move in the fucking thing. And the hotels, we had massive, massive 20 story hotels there and all that. All the, all the outdoor furniture, all the deck chairs that they lay down in the sun all day by the pool, all that gets packed up and gets thrown into the swimming pool. The whole lot. So the whole swimming pool is just full of fucking chairs, full of water, because it can't go anywhere. And all the trees, when we get the warning, all the coconuts, they go around with a cherry picker and they cut all the coconuts down. The whole lot. So there's no coconuts. Because the coconuts are a missile in the air, you know, be like, Ooh, straight through a fucking roof, through a window or something. So all the coconuts get cut down because they're flying missiles. So it'll be interesting what happens on uh, Bahor with um, this one because it's very destructive fucking winds, I tell you. And I'm lucky I'm living down here on a hobby farm, not as a professional farmer up there. Imagine being inside a house with 25 fucking dogs. <laughs> I tricked you, I didn't bring the fucking dogs in. <laughs> I brought Twiki, you know. <laughs> Get fucked. Ah, oh dear, what a day. So it's interesting to see how it pans out today, guys. So I'll catch you later on. Don't forget, watch this one up here. I've got one up here of Chick's video on Sam. You'll, I think you'll like this one today. Have a look at this one. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.